up everyone and welcome back to the breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to buy a Minecraft server. This is going to be a Minecraft server that is up all the time, that's up 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, that you can give to your friends, give to your family, all of that stuff. It is super easy to set up. All you got to do is click a few buttons and your server will be up and running and again, joinable from anyone in the world. Now we're going to be using Apex Minecraft hosting, which you see on your screen right here, to do this. And they even build themselves to start your server in under 5 minutes. That's going to be true here, but I'm going to stretch you out a little bit longer just so I can make sure you guys know everything and like how to do everything your server here. But nevertheless, we are going to be using Apex. You can find a link to Apex in the description down below. It's actually the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. We love Apex so much that we host our own network Minecraft server on them, play.breakdowncraft.com. If you want to try out Apex Minecraft hosting, just go to play.breakdowncraft.com, type that into some Minecraft server IP, hit enter, and it will take you over into our our server where you'll be able to test Apex for yourself. That link in the description is an affiliate link, meaning we get a commission if you go and purchase through this link, but I think it's pretty clear we love Apex, so why wouldn't we set up an affiliate link with them if we can, and uh, yeah, let's go ahead and jump on in to setting up Apex Minecraft hosting. So when you land on this page, the first thing you want to do is click on View Plans. Now, you may be taken to a page that looks like this at first. Other than the homepage, it really just depends. But once you're here, what you want to do is scroll down and kind of look at what plan you're going to want to go for. Now, there is some really good deals going on right now, the holiday sale. Apex typically has some kind of deal going on up here, so you might want to check that. But if we scroll down here, basically, these are those special offer deals, right? One gigabyte for $299, and then it's recurring at $599, $499 for 2 gigabytes, and then $999, so on and so forth. Now, it actually lists down here what these would be good for. So, a 1 gigabyte server, that's going to be a basic server. Up to 25 players is what it says, but 1.13 is a bit more laggy than other ones, so I would probably say about 20 players, 15 to 20 players in 1.13. Basic servers and some mod packs. Your less intensive mod packs with under 100 mods are going to be able to run perfectly on this 2 gigabyte server. And then let's say you want a pretty advanced mod pack like all the mods or stone block or something like that. If you want that, you're going to be going with right here, the 4 gigabyte server. And then if you really want to get rocking and get a lot of people on that modded server, the 6 gigabyte server is a great one. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'm just going to be going with the 1 gigabyte plan here. But you can go ahead and click order now to uh, get things started. So the first thing we want to do is see $5.99. Discount will show on the next page. We can see that it is discounted. Again, that's going to show on the next page. You want to enter your Minecraft username here. This is going to be what you log into the back end with. So you want to make sure that you know it. I'm going to go ahead and use Nick's Games for that. For our optional subdomain, you can enter this. Say you want your IP to your server to not be a bunch of numbers but be actually something you can type in we can do right here like nick's test server dot apex mc.co right there and we'll get that ip a little later on server version now you can pick tons of stuff here right from mod packs to pretty much everything now as you can see some of this requires a two gigabyte or higher server and you can see if you go in here and get a two gigabyte or higher server you can run some of these but even all the mods light here can actually run on this one gig server so if you wanted that you would click it but for the purpose of this tutorial we're just going to be going with a paper 1.13.2 server which is a super sleek super awesome distribution of minecraft 1.13.2 that gives you all the awesome banal features with the ability to add plugins and such so we're going to click on that server location i would recommend picking the one closest to you now north american east is mine they just rolled out singapore if you're in that area singapore is going to be great for you they've got australia south america europe and north american east and west i am in north american east that's the one that's close to me so that's what i'm going to go with from there we can go ahead and ignore everything else and go ahead and click continue now on this page our discount will show up and we can see that for 2.99 is what we'll be paying today not too shabby Next month, that'll renew at $5.99, as it's only 50% off the first month. And then we can go ahead and click check out if uh, all that looks good, which it does to me. Now, obviously on this page, I'm not going to show you all this information for my own privacy's sake. But go through here in your name, email, phone number, all of that stuff. The only thing you really need to check here is obviously the email address needs to be one they can actually reach you at because they will be sending you your backend, like server login information and some very important stuff via email. So I'm going to go ahead and enter all all of this information here and then we'll be able to uh get going. And there you go. After you've entered your information on the previous page and click complete and place order at the bottom, you will be taken here. This is the order confirmation page. And this basically has everything. It has your order number. And in addition to that, it has 
how to get started. I mean, really and truly, I could end this tutorial here if I wanted. I mean, they even have stuff on how to install plugins and, and do everything. But that's not what this tutorial is about. It's about getting you through everything. And you might be asked, what just happened? I accidentally clicked on a, a button right there to log into the uh, basically area that we're going to be in here in a second, which is Multicraft. Now, once you get your server set up and are on this page, the first thing I would recommend doing is coming over to your email. Now, I don't have any email in here just yet because I'm still waiting on the email to come through. It could take up to 30 minutes for the email to come through, but typically it's a lot quicker than that. I just literally, right before I started recording, got this, so it's been probably less than a minute and a half since I placed my order. Once the email does come through, though, I will uh, be over here to show it to you guys. Now, eventually the email will come through. Now, this is a different email from the server I just bought because I sent it to the wrong email and went to Gmail thinking this is where it was at, but it wasn't. But it looks better on Gmail, so this is what the email will look like here. It'll have your server's IP right up here at the top, and then it'll have your billing account login where you can go to log in for that. It'll have your multi-craft login. This is your C panel, basically your control panel for your Minecraft server. We're going to be going there here in a second. And then the FTP details, which is how you're going to log into your Minecraft server and add plugins and mods and all that stuff. So that's where all of that is. But if we come over here, if this is for the server we just bought, right? That's the IP of the server we just bought. This is all the login info. I'm going to go ahead and log in right here to the C panel. So click on the login button under that. On Gmail where it looks good, it would be this login button. It'll take you off to a page that looks like this. You then want to come back over to the email, copy your login name right there. In my case, NixGames1, which is my username, but there was already a NixGames in the account, like in their system. So it went ahead and put a 1 at the end of it. And then we want to go ahead and grab our password, which is from the at sign there. Your may not have an at sign, by the way, all the way to the last letter. It's all in bold. Copy that. Come back over to Multicraft, paste it in, and click log in. Now, here we go. This is the setup of the servers. Now, I have two servers in here because I ended up having to buy two servers because the first one I bought, uh, the video was messed up. So, yeah, this is technically the second server. But, nevertheless, you get the idea. So, once we're in here, what we want to do is go ahead and click on your server. Now, you may jump directly into this page. And, as a matter of fact, I'm pretty sure you will if you only have one server. But, that's not the end of the world. Once you're in here, you can name your server just for, basically, usage purposes. Purposes. I'm going to name this test server. That way we know what it's called. And then you can obviously change your jar file. So remember when we selected paper MC earlier, we can change that right now again if we want. Say we want to change that to a Forge server, like a Forge 1.12.2 server. We can do that. And say we want to go ahead and install any of these mod packs that are listed here. We can go ahead and do that as well. The mod pack list is much, much, much more extensive, by the way, if you have more RAM. So uh, yeah, if you don't see your mod pack here, don't freak out. They probably have have it. I'm pretty confident they do. You just need more RAM on your server. But we're going to stick with paper 1.13.2 for now because then we're going to install plugins on that server and the method that you use to install plugins is the same method that you use to install basically anything else like mods and stuff. So once you've reviewed all this, you can click show advanced settings. Most likely you'll never need to go down here because you do want your auto save, like your world to auto save. Do you want it to announce the save? If you don't, you can turn that off. I personally like that. That way I know everything's working correctly. You can see your RAM here and then unauthorized kick delay. Don't even worry about touching that. You shouldn't have to. If you do have issues, by the way, you can click on this little blue Apex logo down here and it's live chat support. So if I was to message in there right now and contact their support, they would be able to help me out live just like they'll be able to help you out live. But we don't need that because we can go ahead and minimize it. So for show permissions down here, you don't really need to do much of anything else down here because most likely you're going to set up your own permissions plugin. You can just ignore that. But now let's go ahead and save. So once we've saved here, we should be able to join into our server. To do that, simply take your IP that is here, that see that IP address, open up Minecraft really quick. Let me just go ahead and get into Minecraft 1.13.2. There we go. Minecraft's now open. If we click on multiplayer and then direct connect, we can paste that IP address. But if you click join server, it won't work. What you need to do is do a colon and then come back over to MultiMC here and grab your port and paste that in. By the way, this server IP can also be found right over here, right? See that? So no worries there. That's how you can get your server IP. And let's just go ahead and click join server. Now it'll launch us on into the server and you actually see down here that players connected, it'll have my username there because well, we are now connected to the server. Your first join in might take a while as it loads everything in, but then eventually down here you can see connected players, Nick's games. 
That's what I'm talking about. So this is our Minecraft server, right? This is running a uh, paper spigot, and we can check that by doing slash ver in the chat. By the way, if you get an error, like it doesn't let you run slash ver, it does. If, if that's happening, what you need to do is come over here, back in MultiCraft, and then click on console. You see that? Click on that, and then you want to come down here and type down here op, and then space whatever your username is. In my case, that's going to be Next Games, and hit enter. Most likely, you're already going to be opt on your server, but I wasn't because of that where there was already an account under my username and it kind of glitched out multicraft a bit but now that we are you know opt in everything we can do slash version and boom that'll show up we can also do stuff slash slash game mode creative We'll be able to go in creative. Only people who are opt on your server, though, will be able to do that. So if you're playing with your friends or something and, you know, you need them to not be able to go into creative, you can set it to where they can't by just, you know, not giving them op on the server. So now that we've got our server set up, let's add some plugins to it. Now, in order to add plugins to your server, you'll need FileZilla. FileZilla is a completely free program that allows you to log in with FTP access, right? And FTP access, we saw it in our original email over here, is right here, and it walks you through everything you need to know to uh, get into your server via FTP and right there it is because that's how you add plugins and stuff. So we need to download that. You can just click on download FileZilla clients there and then it will automatically give you the download recommendation for your platform. So go ahead, click download and then from there it's just like installing any other program. By the way, you need the free one here. Download FileZilla where it says that, click on that and it will download in the bottom left. Now, once you've got FileZilla downloaded, we need a plugin. Now, for this you can kind of use whatever plugin you want as long as it's compatible for your version of Minecraft. All of the plugins on our list in the description down below the breakdown.xyz slash spigot plugins will work here. Any spigot or bucket plugins will work on your server as long as they work for the right Minecraft version. All of these will work for 1.13.2, many of them for older versions as well. So to get started here, let's scroll down and grab something that'll be kind of cool that we can add in. I think grief prevention here is actually going to be the best option for us. So we can just click on bucket.org projects grief prevention there and it will launch this up. If we go ahead and click on file here, we just want to make sure we're downloading one for 1.13, which we are. So go ahead and click on download file. That'll now download in the bottom left where we can keep the file. Now we need to go back over to multicraft here and then click on back, right? Once we've clicked on back, we then want to go into FTP file access. Once we're in here, this is all the information we need. The hard part of this is basically done. Once we've got this information, I'm gonna go ahead and drag it over here just so we can have it up while also doing stuff on our desktop. I'm also gonna minimize Minecraft just to get the distraction out of the way. Now, if we come over here, we can see that Grief Prevention has downloaded FileZilla. We'll have also downloaded for you, but uh, for some reason, it's erroring out for me right now. However, this is the official FileZilla website. It's just an issue with my network connection at this uh, particular time. I've been having some issues with downloads and I'm gonna troubleshoot it later. But right now, I'm gonna go ahead and delete that. And we've got Grief Prevention here on our desktop. Once we've got that, we need to go ahead and open up FileZilla, which it's installing like any other program, so you should be able to go there. Go ahead and close out of that. And now we need to enter in this information that's over here in Multicraft, right here in FileZilla. So just go ahead and copy your FTP address, copy and paste that over. Your username is going to be right down here. See that, your FTP username. For your password, this is going to be your Multicraft password. Give me one second while I grab that. There we go. Now come back over here to password, paste that in. Our port is always going to be 21 for APEG service. It might be different depending on your server host, but for us it's 21. As you can see, it is 21 over here as well. Now we can go ahead and just click Quick Connect. It will now go ahead and connect us on into to our server here and we'll be able to get things going now as you can see I have a could not connect to server error if you have that most likely you've entered the wrong password or something like that I have five apex accounts so that might have been the case for me give me one moment that was the issue I went and grabbed our password from our trusty little email over here and now if we go ahead and quick connect we will be able to connect on in. There we go. Now, installing grief prevention or any plugin is as easy as dropping it into our plugins folder here. Same thing goes for mods, except you're not going to be dropping into your plugins folder. For a mod, you will be dropping that into your mods folder. You'll have a mods folder right out here in this main directory. Open that up and drag it in. Now we need to come back over to Multicraft. 
click back here, and then we need to click on the restart button on our server. That will shut down our server, and then we'll be good to go, right? The plugin will be installed, and it really is that simple. Now, there is all kinds of stuff in here that you can mess around with. Let's say you wanted to change your configs of your world or change your server properties. You can come in here and do that. So if you come here, you've got server properties. Drag that over to your desktop here. We're going to go ahead and get that open. Go into our desktop and right-clicking on server properties. Now, I'm going to be editing this in Notepad++, but it's not required. However, Notepad++ is free and will help you in editing configs and such. Once we've got this here, we can do everything from changing the game mode from game mode equals zero to game mode equals one if we want to make everyone join in creative and such. So let's go ahead and save that, and then we'll drag that over. So now we should have grief prevention on our server, and it should be a creative base server. However, for those to take effect, we will need to restart our server again. So let's refresh the page over here. We'll see that our server has in fact been restarted. We'll need to restart it again, and then we'll be able to join on in. Now, if for whatever reason, it seems like it's saying restarting over here forever, it can take a minute or two to restart, but if it's saying that for like, you know, two, three minutes, most likely you just need to refresh the page and it'll update. But if we go ahead and open up Minecraft here, it says server closed because we closed the server while we were on it. We can then go ahead and direct connect back to that IP. It's the same IP that we have over here with a colon and then the port number. And then I'm sure if we refresh, we will be able to see that the server has in fact started. It's actually taking longer than I expected. If we click on console here, we can see exactly what it's doing. Eventually we will see done, right? And whenever we see done that means the server is done loading up so if we come over here we can see there it is and done see that startup is now done right there boom so we can see that the startup is done we can now stop and restart the server up there so it is started go ahead and join the server and we will be in creative and we will have grief prevention installed so boom we are in creative there which i guess we were in creative when we left so that's kind of a fail, sorry about that. But on top of that, we will have grief prevention. So if I go ahead and get myself a golden shovel, the grief prevention claim shovel. So if we click here, and then let's say go over here somewhere. I don't know, it's gotta be bigger than 100 total blocks. So I'll do it right here. I do not have enough claim blocks. Come on now. Give me more claim blocks. There we go. So now we've made a claim with grief prevention. I don't think there's any denying that that is installed. If you have any questions, please post them in the comment section down below. I'm more than happy to help you out in any way, shape, or form. Also, if you do have an issue with Apex, again, they have live chat support. Then you can come over and just click on this little blue Apex logo and go through their live chat support system. Pretty awesome stuff. So nevertheless, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome content exactly like this on Network servers on Minecraft mods on all that stuff every single day of the week. My name is Nick again and I am out. Peace.